How you doing? Boys and girls of all ages, Chandler, step back from my face, please. It's Brian Carp here with Quarantine Kitchen. Today we're making you something pretty scrumptious. Gonna break out some chicken marsala. It's not very difficult to make, you'll see. It's but so dang good. And then making a little garlic spaghetti to go with it. Where are you even aiming that camera? It's going over that one. Come on, camera man. You mean like over there? No, it's over on you. Come on, camera man. Get away from It's on you. Come on. All right, so. Great thing about chicken marsala, I get to break out the hammer again. So we're gonna pound. Okay. Gonna take off the frustration about the cameraman here. Gonna pound this down to about a quarter inch. And make the chicken lot. tenderloins. Oh, look, cameraman, 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 cameraman. That's a chicken. Yeah, same thing, just like the cameraman. Okay. All right, so that's about a quarter inch. That's a little high. Oh my gosh. All right, so I already pounded my other two out, so. Okay. So. Quarter after... inch. So after we get the chicken breast pounded out, what we're gonna do next, I got a mixture here of about three tablespoons of flour, some salt and pepper. Put the hammer down, Chandler. You never said where. Gonna give it a quick, quick light dusting. So what is this, Dad? What's it like? I just got done telling you what What's it is. What's it like? Chicken Marcella? Yes. It is a chicken, Italian chicken dish that will have a beautiful sauce made with masala wine. Well, Dad. I've got a skillet and, um, warming up over there with uh, oil and butter. So once that's hot, we will throw in our chicken. Why are you putting this stuff on it? Because it adds a nice little coating to it. And it's gonna also eventually help thicken our sauce later. Why? Why? Yes. Why is it going to what? Give it a nice little coating? Or why is it gonna help thicken our sauce? No. Or why? why do you have to ask stupid questions? Why, why do you need it though? I just got done telling you that you weren't missing. Gonna be, you said it was like a tenderloin. It's giving a nice little coating. I want a tenderloin now. Well, it's... Give me a tenderloin! Go buy a tenderloin. Okay. Bye. Time to get some actually good food. Fine. You called me back. I didn't actually call you back. I was hoping you would have left. Oh. Well, I'll go out this door. Chandler. Now he called me back. No, I was hoping you left. What? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's look at our ingredients for chicken yourself. I hit my toe. Camera out of the Ow! Ow! I'm so, in pain! You're gonna live. For chicken marsala, you got a little. My uh, toe. Olive oil, chicken broth, mushrooms, thyme. Look, thyme. I got some thyme. Hey. Let me take some think thyme this to explain thyme, this. Thyme. Uh, uh, it's so gonna take some shallot. That's one shallot, diced um, up, pressing. garlic, and heavy whipping cream, and marsala cooking wine. Do you think this dish takes some time? Just a little time. About that much time. Okay. Kay. How much time does it take? So that's about that much. Okay. Alright, so for the uh, garlic spaghetti. How much spaghetti, prep time is it? Garlic, chili pepper, crushed uh, red peppers, lemon zest, and parsley. Alright, is this uh, hot yet? Hey, Dad. What's the prep Just time? About. Prep time didn't take that much time at all. It took about, um, for the chicken, 10 minutes. He still hasn't gotten it. I caught it. It's just a stupid joke. Uh, I mean, this face is. All right. I'm gonna throw the first one in here. I don't hear a sizzle. You don't hear that sizzle? There needs to be a bigger sizzle. There's a sizzle there. There needs to be a bigger sizzle. 
No, wait, hold on. Bigger sizzle time. Bigger sizzle. What hell is that one? She did. Bigger sizzle. Bigger sizzle. It's almost like I planned them to fit together. Look at that. I don't think you did. That just worked perfect. All right, we're gonna cook this about three minutes each side, and we'll be back. All right, so our chicken is about ready to come off now. You can see it's got that nice golden brown to it. This is what we wanted to achieve. So we'll go ahead and take this one off. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Yeah. It's just so beautiful. Like me. Absolutely and my beautiful. love. All right, so we'll take our chicken off, set it off to the side. Now we're going to start adding all our other stuff. we got a little bit of uh, marsala cooking wine. We're going to do about two thirds cup. With this, I'm actually measuring something for you guys. We're going to have to throw two these away cup. in my bedroom. Two thirds cup. I'll grab the mushrooms in. So we'll just go this way. Two thirds cup. Chicken broth, no more butter. You have to make it look like something. Make it look like a leaf. Now yeah, scrape it to get the good stuff off the bottom of that pan. I don't see a leaf. Well, you can leave all you want. <laughs> okay. It'd be like a tree leaf. All right, Cameron, come on back to the fish yet. Tell me I can leave at any time, and your butter isn't done. So I don't cook down here quickly. No. Yeah, you shouldn't have put those in yet. You better Actually, really, done. I should have put the mushrooms in first before I put the sauce, but we'll survive. Your mushrooms. I got carried then away. Then your mushrooms wouldn't be done. All right, so we're going to let this cook down a little bit. We'll put some shallots. At our time. That might take some time. We're going to let this cook. How Our goal time? is to bring this to a boil, and then we're going to back it down, and we'll put How our much? chicken back in, and then cook it down until it's about half gone. How much time will it take for it to boil? Janet, you know what? You almost meant to forget about the garlic. How could you let me forget about the garlic, son? I didn't know. This is your job, to help me. But, that's hot. We got garlic going, we got mushrooms, we got thyme, we got pork, we got uh, cream, marsala wine, and chicken broth. All right, so now we're going to move over here, we're going to get this pan hot, and we're going to start making our, our sauce for the, for our garlic spaghetti. Water's about ready to boil for our spaghetti. So we'll add. Don't do too much. Yeah. Pasta. It's always good to too much. That's just a given rule, Chan. Well, you shouldn't have put all of it in. You're supposed to. No. You gotta cook too much. Dad, it's yeah. just me, you, and Mom. It's called leftovers. We're not gonna eat all the leftovers. You well, should know this. this. Will of this. Alright, that's going good, so now we'll throw some garlic in this. I will not. I just say I will just because um just to make him happy. Yawn. Alright, got I'm that waiting one. for a good sizzle. Okay. That is a sizzle. Will you say what you put in again? And a little bit of salt. 
What did you put in there? That is garlic. Red pepper flakes and some olive oil. Yeah. I just don't hit the power button when you're saying red pepper flakes. Oh my goodness. So, uh, right. it's not recording still. We're going to let this cook down to the garlic hey, that's pepper. Boiling. Did you see that? Alright, we're going to cook this down to the garlic brown. About that time our spaghetti's gonna be done and it's gonna be ready to mix it all together. I'm hungry. We'll be back. Give me so food. I got my spaghetti done. My garlic's looking great. So we're gonna drain the spaghetti here. Imagine if you forgot to put your We are going to save a, I almost forgot to save about a quarter cup. Imagine if you forgot to um, put your strainer in there. So I got about a quarter cup of the fluid. Yeah. And no, I didn't measure that. It's not even an actual quarter cut there, so. Yeah, I can tell. You just Dump grabbed right one. Back. Yeah, you just grabbed one. First off, get something and fix your, your mistake right there. Or not. Garlic and oil in. Your garlic, your garlic oil. Your garlic. Lemon zest in. A little? Yeah. That's why you're holding it. There it goes. A little, I don't want to overpower it. It's probably going to be overpowered. About two tablespoons, give or take. Now we're going to mix this. We're going to mix it. So we're going to mix it. Back here. We both should be skipping. There's still some over here. That's right. You can eat that. Okay. I will. I am. What's wrong? Nothing. That's some steamy. Smells good. Doesn't that smell good to you? No. Alright, so this is done. Give a bite to the cameraman. You can tell us how good that is. You can see that's cooking down nicely. We're going to add the chicken back into this. As you see, we're going for a cream sauce on this. All that right. looks disgusting. It looks disgusting. Well, I hope you think it's disgusting because that's what you're eating tonight. Oh no. I better. Get some Chinese food from all Chinese. Don't they have the best food? No, what you're getting tonight's the best food. You're funny. Will you wrap that better for me? There you go, cameraman. Wrap it better. I said wrap it better, but no, I get steak. It's gonna be hot. Yeah, I figured. It just came out hot. We all know it's good. No, I don't like it. All right, so we'll come back later. Everything's done. You can see our sauce is cooked down about two thirds, about a half of the way. Get a little pasta here. Top of the potato parmesan. Get the mix out. I'm totally not holding in the sneeze. Totally not. Sauce. Get me a bunch of mushrooms, Dad. And sauce. It's pretty saucy. Is there any salt in that? No. Top of it. Oh man, Marshall. I'm really holding in this thing. Oh boy. And there you have it. Chicken marsal and garlic spaghetti. You see, it's not a real difficult dish. 
but it's delicious. Hope you guys enjoy it. Except he is this.